Hello everybody, it's me again, Toninho, and today I want to share with you uh, how to build your Google Cloud messaging in your app. But now uh, we are we're going to use Firebase Cloud messaging. Firebase Cloud messaging is the same thing as Google Cloud messaging, but uh, as I've seen so far, it is a way easier to build. Firebase Cloud Messaging on your app than it was with Google Cloud Messaging. It's, it is extremely easy to implement it. So let's get let's get started. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is go to uh, Firebase.google.com, right? And this entire URL that I want I don't want to spell to you. You can type it on your computer. All right, and then. Uh, there, there are some things that you must um, put on your app. As I've done it, so as I've done it to you, and uh, I'll share with you the source code and everything that I've done, so you can get get this code, compile it on your Android Studio, and run your Google Firebase Cloud Messaging app, your own. Firebase messaging app. So, okay, uh, there is some uh, traps that you need to avoid when you uh, when you are building your project, and uh, I'll try to I'll, I'll help you to avoid them in this video. First of all, uh, you need to go here and go to get started. Okay, just one second. Uh, all right. And here, uh, as, it, as you can see, uh, I have two apps. Firebase Cloud Messaging app, the one that I built just to show you. And this one is uh, of, from one of my clients. Okay, so it doesn't matter. And I'll go here. And I'll go to manage. If you had if you had no app, you just go to create project. Okay, you put your name here, your location, and go ahead. I'll just do it just to show you how to do it. Okay, uh, so uh, my project. Okay, my location. And then just one second. Okay, it will run. It will run. Oh yeah, so here it is. And then you put your package name here, as I've done with my project. That you can see here. Okay. Uh, and then you put this name over there. All right. TNT. But you put your package name. This is mine. So you put your package name here. Uh, I'll suppose that I let's try it but as I have one it can warm about it and then you grab this guy that was downloaded here can you see it Google services and put it on your project all right so the better perspective to do it is using project so take a look uh, here it is, and then you go to. Uh, here it is, project, and then you put your Google services inside your app folder. This file contains some information required to Google Cloud Messaging, to Google Firebase Cloud <laughs> Messaging uh, to interact with your app. So you put this file here, okay, and. Uh, then what you need to do is okay I'll go here is just to put some configurations on your Gradle, Gradle files here they are um, in your build script you put this as you can see here build okay oh is the one the other one this one here you put your Google services okay and uh, and then you put inside 
your project app module and build.gradle you put your apply plugin as I've done here okay and as we saw early you put your Google Firebase messaging dependency but there's another trouble that you may face when you start it is because the 902 isn't working okay at, le at least it, it, it at least at least it didn't it didn't work it for me to me so I decided to put it um, so I decided to check to to search about it and then I discovered that you need to update it is important to update your <coughs> oh sorry uh, here launch our standalone SK manager and you need and then you update your um and then you then you update your Google repository okay it must be updated so otherwise you won't be able to compile it with the version 902 okay so once once it has done you must go to our main fast file in your main fast file there is some things that you must complete okay finish uh, I'll go to all my projects, okay, see all projects, and here it is, our project. This one was built just to show you how to do it, okay, so you go here. And uh, the point is that we go to this, okay, as I told you early, and, uh, in your and you must implement two classes, extend two classes. The first one is responsible for receiving your token from Google Cloud, Firebase Cloud Messaging, sorry. Uh, and the second one is responsible to receive the notification that will be sent to your application. And here they are. Uh, just one second. The first one is Firebase Messaging Service. That, I, that we have here uh, and uh, this is a pretty straightforward class right it is responsible to receive the notification that will be sent to your application and uh, here I just build a simple class to handle this information right and uh, sorry uh, Yep, I just built uh, this uh, simple class called notification data. You can see it here, and it has, has it, and it has some informations about our notification. Okay, uh, and then uh, we just sent our notification, as you can see here, to the device with the default with the default sound notification you can tweak it as your as your as you would like as you wish sorry uh, okay and then you do it it's done and we go here and this second class is responsible to register your device it is here um, that you will receive your token. So this variable will receive the token that will be sent to you by Google Cloud Service. Uh, and I'll just I'm just printing it here. So as soon your app starts running, it will show in the console your uh, token. So I'll run it right now, okay, and show you how it works. Uh, once again, sorry about my English, I'm working to improve it. Um, here it is, it is running. 
Another point important that you, you need to take care with is uh, you need to set set up on your emulator Google Play services, otherwise it won't work. Okay, uh, here in my Genymotion version, I've set it up, and uh, that's why it can execute. Otherwise. Uh, it will require you to execute it on your device. Okay. Um, so now let's look to our uh, device system and token. I'll look search for token. What's in here? Why? Why it isn't here? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, I need to load it again. Yeah, sorry. As it just sends my token when my app is executed for the first time. So it won't show it. So I need to put it here. And then I'll be able to, and let's run it again. And then I'll be able to uh, have access to my token. Just one second. Remove it. Okay. Uh, okay. Where are you, my token? Where are you? Okay, make activity on create. Here it is, my token. Then I'll copy it and I'll put it here in my server. Okay, and now I can send this notification with this information to my device. Okay, but here there is another point that you need to, that is important. To pay attention to, sorry, uh, it is the it is your application key. It is responsible uh, for knowing your application. Okay, and you have access of it by here, so you can copy it here. Okay, cloud messaging. Then you copy this. Okay, and you, sorry, you put it over here, okay, sorry, uh, sender ID, so yeah, yeah, okay, so uh, don't try to use my token uh, because I'll delete this as soon as I've completed this tutorial, so don't try to do it. And uh, let's send this notification to my device. Oh yeah, it is working perfectly. So here we have our notification. And as I've set my priority to high, uh, it will, and then let's increment our ID. So now, we make sure it doesn't override the second message. That's the first message. Okay. Let's send it again. Oh, nice. And if we click, it just opens our application. Uh, so, thank you by watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about my English once again. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question uh, you can let it here and then uh, we will answer your questions as soon as possible um, the link to the source code is right uh, is right here below so check it out thank you bye bye